In this video, I will show you how to set up a Sonoff Zigbee USB dongle and how to set up a Zigbee to MQTT within Home Assistant, which for some devices, like this IKEA Air Quality Monitor, displays more options than ZHA Zigbee Home Automation. Here I have the Sonoff P version Zigbee dongle purchased from Amazon. In the box you have the legal document, the aerial antenna and the USB dongle. You just screw the aerial to the end. It's advised to use a USB extension cable so that the dongle is away from the Raspberry Pi so that there is no interference. To install, you simply connect the USB cable to a spare USB port on the Raspberry Pi. There is no setup that you have to do. But to check that the setup has been successful, you can check within Home Assistant. Within Home Assistant, go to Settings, System, Hardware, all hardware, then scroll down to USB section and you'll see one of the USB that says Silicon Labs sewn off. If you see that, then the hardware dongle has been successfully installed. Next, we will install Zigbee to MQTT. Go to settings, add-ons. You will need a link from the add-on from GitHub. See the description below. Copy the link, go back to Home Assistant, click on the top three dots, click on Repositories, then paste the link and click Add. Then click Home Assistant Add-on Zigbee to MQTT. Once installed, click Close. Then you will need to refresh the page. Scroll down until you find add-on Zigbee to MQTT. Then click on the Zigbee to MQTT, not the edge or proxy. Click install. Then go to settings, system, hardware, all hardware and down to the USB section. You'll now need to copy the ID from the Sonoff USB settings. Go back to Add-on, then Zigbee to MQTT. Click on the Configuration tab. And in the serial option, type port, colon, space, then paste the link. Click save. Go back to the info tab. Make sure the start on boot is enabled and show in sidebar. Then click start. You can click on the log tab to see the install status. That is Zigbee to MQTT installed. On the sidebar, click Zigbee to MQTT. 
To add a device on the top right, click Permit Join. Then on the device, set the pairing mode. As on the IKEA air quality monitor, click the link button four times. The device should now appear and set up. You can click the blue edit button to rename the device. Then when you click on the device, you will see all the settings and under the expose section, it will show you what information is shared with Home Assistant. And here's a quick look at all the other tabs. Then within device and services, find MQTT and you will see the devices that have been added. Here you can add automations or add controls and information to your dashboard. Hit the like and subscribe button and if you have any questions or comments leave them down below.